Welcome back launchers. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create categories for your launch cart store. Now to do this, just log into your launch cart stores admin panel and then click on the categories link on your navigation bar. Now I recommend people create categories before they start creating products. The reason is when you create a product, you have the option to assign it to a category. But if you haven't created any categories yet, you'll have to go back in, create your categories, and then go back and edit your products and assign your products to categories. So without making extra work for you, it's just easier to create them from the beginning. Now, to do this, go to the categories page like we're on, and we have a small explanation of categories, but basically categories is what allows your store visitors the ability to browse through certain uh, sections of your, of your shop. Now, you can think of these like aisles in a department store. Right, you got the men's aisle, the women's aisle, the kids' aisle, and so on and so on. Well, it's very similar with categories. On this example here, we have apparel, and then we have a subcategory of men, women's, and kids. So that's what we're going to be creating today. So to do, to do that, just click on Create Category, and we're going to create our first uh, category, which is going to be apparel. So we're going to type in apparel. We're going to give it a description. Let me spell check this. There we go. And we're going to leave this as a parent category. And then if you want, you can add in additional search engine optimization options here. Now, I'm going to leave that blank just to save time. So we've created one parent category. Now we're going to add a few subcategories to it. So let's go back to create category. And let's go ahead and add a men's section in here. You can give longer descriptions. I'm just keeping them short to save time. And then we're going to select the correct parent category. If you have a parent category selected here, then this right here is going to be a sub category of your parent category. I don't want to confuse you, but you'll see exactly what that looks like right about now. So I'm going to create this. And once again, you can have fun with this. Um, you can easily delete these and rearrange these in any way that you want. Um, don't get overwhelmed is what I'm saying. So here we have our parent category of apparel, and then we have our men's category here below. So to complete this, let's go ahead and just create a woman's category. Assign it to the right parent category, and we're going to hit create. And then we're going to go back, and we're going to create one more to finish this off, and we're going to create kids, and we're going to have a complete selection for our visitors to choose from when they're browsing our store. So same thing, give it a title, a description, and choose the parent and hit create. Now, once again, I'm you know, doing this pretty fast, but now I can expand this category and here's all my other categories. Now, if I wanted to, I could drag these around up and down, rearrange them. And if I had additional top parent categories, I could also drag those up and down as well. So you have total freedom to do this, but we recommend, you know, if you're new to e-commerce, try to not go too crazy with your categories. Try creating uh, a handful that you know you'll, um, you'll like and your visitors will enjoy. Once you have these done, then when you're creating products, which we'll have a whole video on that, when you're in the product editor, you'll be able to assign your products to a category. For example, you might create a women's t-shirt. Well, you would assign that to the women's category. If you're creating a kids, if you're selling a kid's backpack, you might assign that to the kids section and so on and so on. So it's very simple to do. And we recommend creating these first. Now, they're not required. You don't need categories for your store, but it does give your visitors a very simple solution when they're browsing your shop, especially if you have a lot of products, they can pick and choose and go into the right category to find the right product. So that's it. Stay tuned for the next video.